To enhance tables, you can use color-coded labels for fields like status. In this example, I'll use the order status field with values complete, pending, and canceled. And I'll apply different shades to the container and text, making it intuitive for users to quickly identify the status at a glance. So I'm starting off with my table already built. And I want to add the status, but I don't want to just put the text of the status. Instead, I want to level it up with some status buttons, where the color of the button container and the color of the text are unique to each status. And since I want to customize both the shape and the text, I'll type zero into the columns, and I'll do this twice. That way we have two marks to work with. For the first mark, I'm gonna make this a shape. And within shape, I'm gonna choose more shapes. And I'll choose this rounded corner container that I loaded into my shapes. Then I'll use the size slider to increase the size of the rounded corner container. And I want this to be colored based on the status. So I'm gonna move status into the first mark and make this a color. For the second mark, I'm going to use this to control the text. And I need to add the actual text of the status, so I'm going to pull status into the second mark and make this text. I'm also going to pull status in again, and this time make it a color. But you can see the shape and the text both currently have the same color, because both are assigned color based on the status field. So you can see complete is orange for both the text and the container. One trick around this is to duplicate the status field and then use that to color one of the marks. But a more efficient way to do this is to pull measure names into the mark and make it a color. That way our shape is based on status and our text is based on the combination of status and measure names. So you can see we get two completely different legends here on the right. To get the text on top of the shape, I'll right click on one of our sum of zeros and make this a dual access. Then you can use the size slider in the marks to control the size of the text and the containers. To make these labels more intuitive, I'll edit the colors of our status legend. And since this is for the containers, I'm going to choose lighter colors. Canceled is a negative status, so I'm going to make this a light red. Complete is a positive status, so I'm going to make this a light green. And pending is a more neutral status, so I'll make this a light yellow. Then I'll edit the colors for the text legend. And since I want these to stand out, I'm gonna choose darker versions of the same status colors I chose for the containers. Then for the second mark, I'll use text within the marks to edit the text. And I'll just make the status bold so it stands out a bit more. Then for formatting, I'll remove both the zero access headers. And I'll format the worksheet so under lines I can remove the zero lines and the column grid lines. And now users can instantly identify the status based on the color coding without having to read each label. For example, you can see here that most orders are completed because the table is predominantly green. 